let's have a run through problem 47a more bond calculations lots of present values to be done i'll do them all in my financial calculator first and then i'll circle back and i'll just do star shot i'll do the first one here um, by hand afterwards so if you're somebody that has to do them by hand i understand it's a little more time consuming and honestly a little more tedious but it's doable it's not hard it's just you got to take your time but let's go through with our financial calculator first and then we will solve a uh, star shot by hand so we're given a bond table and we're just missing information right star shot is missing its coupon uh coupon by the way uh, is what drives the PMT, right? That's the regular payment is, is the coupon. It's the interest payment. So as I'm thinking about my financial calculator, I'm sort of, I translate coupon into PMT there. Maturity is all about the number of periods. Price is the present value. How much would you pay for this bond today? And yield is our discount rate or our IY in a financial calculator. So we're asked to fill in the missing information. Starshot's missing the coupon. So Starshot, uh, we'll call this company one, company two, company three, Starshot's company one. It's missing the PMT. Uh, company two, Ascendancy, is missing the PV, the uh, price. And company three is missing the yield. So that's sort of what we're gonna solve for. The starred things are what's missing. Everything else we should know about these companies so it's always like one thing missing in these finance questions and here it's very plain that one thing is missing we can compute it though uh so let's start with the first company star shot the number of periods here 10 years so that's 20 compounding periods our iy 6.5 percent per year that's 3.25 per six month because these are semi-annual coupon payments so we got to convert everything into semi-annual data so 10 years that's 26 month periods 6.5 percent per year is 3.25 per six months uh pv is the price and the price the price is quoted as a percentage right so we're uh the company's asking a thousand dollars or giving a thousand dollar face value for its bonds to buy it you got to pay 92 percent of the face value you have to pay 927 dollars and 30 cents to buy one thousand dollar bond you got to pay 92 percent of the full price i put it in as a negative <laughs> spat all over my computer screen here i put it in as a negative uh because uh it's a negative cash flow you're buying a bond so uh, the PMT will come out as a positive. That's the positive cash flow from the bond, and the FV also will come out as a positive. That's you know the lump sum coming back to you at the end. And the lump sum at the end here is a thousand dollars. We don't know what the regular coupon payment is going to be. Let's solve for it. Twenty goes in as our N. Three point two five goes in as our IY. Negative nine twenty seven point three. 927.3 negative goes in as our PV. PMT, we don't know. A thousand goes in as our FV, and we compute PMT, and I get 27.4997. Uh, I'm going to just call that 27.5. Now, that is our payment every six months. So, annualized. 27.5 times 2 is $55 in interest per year, 55 per year. Well, on a $1,000 bond, uh, $55 in interest per year is 55 divided by 1,000, 0 0.055, it's 5.5%. So our coupon would be quoted as 5.5%. 5.5 is the answer for part one, star shot. Company two, ascendancy. Okay, coupon is 7.5. So we're just working backwards from what we just did on Starshot. It's a thousand dollar bond, 7.5% is $75 in annual coupon. Divide by two, we get 37.5. That's what's going to go into our calculator as the PMT. Oops, I'm kind of jumping ahead here, but it is 37.5. Let's look at the end, the number of periods for that second bond. It's 30, 15 years. Semi annual payments, that's 30 payments. Our IY 7.2, that's going to go in as 3.6, half. Our FV is 1,000. That one actually took care of itself quickly. <laughs> I'm alarmed at how quickly that went because I, I think I must have skipped a step or I, I try to explain every step in detail. I might not have done the job there, but uh, hopefully you're doing your best to keep up. I'm sorry in advance if uh, I skipped a step there. It, it, it felt like I was quick to get to the calculator. 30 goes in as it. 
3.6 goes in as IY. Uh, we don't know our PV. Uh, 37.5 goes in as the PMT. 1,000 goes in as FV. And then we compute, uh, what are we computing? PV. 1027.25. 1027.25. It, it shows up as a negative number here because that's uh, a negative cash flow. All right, I'll switch it back to a positive number. Now, we're saying what percentage, the face value of the bond is $1,000. To buy one, you got to pay a little bit more. So it's like we're paying 102%. So I always just divide by the face value, and then that number is my percentage. So 1.02 is the same as 102.72%. So 102.72, and you know, whatever, however many decimals your professor wants you to go to. I would, seeing this one was three, I was like, okay, I'll go for three. That's as many as we're going to need. 102.725. That's the percentage of the face value of the bond you got to pay to buy a bond. Okay, last one. Uh, number of periods for bond number three is 20 Silver Line Ventures. So 20 uh, years rather is 40 semi-annual uh, periods. Our PV is 117.468. So uh, we have to pay uh, $1,174.68 if we want to buy one of these bonds. I'll put that in as a negative. Our regular payment amount is based on the coupon. Again, looking at the third bond here, 9.2. So $1,000 times 9.2% is 92 bucks a year. Divide by two is 46 bucks every six months and a thousand goes in as our FV. Let's crunch the numbers. 40 goes in as N. 1174.68 negative goes in as PV. 46 goes in as PMT. A thousand goes in as FV. And now I compute IY. Where are you? I, Y, there you are. 3.75. Now remember, to get it into the table, 3.6 was 7.2 in the table. 3.25 was 6.5 in the table. Well, 3.75 is 7.5 in the table. And there we have it. We've solved them. Uh, our PMT for the first one is 5.5, or our coupon, rather. Our price for the second one is 102.725. And our IY for the third one was 7.5. Congratulations, you've made it. You got to the end. As I promised, though, I'm going to come back and I'm going to do the first one by hand. You could do the first two of these by hand. The third one, I don't think so. IY is just torturous to do by hand. If it was even like 7.5, yeah, you could get there. But, you know, when it's 7.325 or something like this, it's trial and error to calculate IY is a pain. You can do it in two seconds in a financial calculator. But we'll do uh, uh, Starshot Company by hand. To do it by hand, you have to break the bond down into its component parts. Uh, there's the present value of an annuity. Those recurring payments will take the present value of those. And we'll also take the present value of the lump sum, the $1,000 at the end of the bond. And that combines to give us the present value of the bond. So this question we're missing the coupon, right? The regular payment, the regular cash flow of the bond. That's what we're looking for. And that is right here. So uh, that's what we're solving for. We should have every other component of this. And we do. We have the present value of the bond. The bond price is 92.73% of $1,000. So the PV of the bond is 927.30. The C is what we're solving for. We'll multiply that by... <laughs> my bracket there went a little wonky one minus one over one plus r so it's one plus our yield but remember our yield is given annually we need it divided by two so it's uh 3.25 percent so it's 1.0325 to the power of t the number of periods which is 20 semi-annual periods to the power of 20 uh all divided by 0.0325. My brackets were way overkill. Let's make them a little smaller. Oh, much more beautiful. Add that to our FV, our 
future value of our bond, which is 1,000, divided by 1.0325 to the power of 20. Okay, so I'm going to solve for, uh, I've already got my left here. I'm going to leave C, I'm going to solve for what's in the brackets. I'm going to solve this one. So let's solve. So solving for what's in the brackets. Uh, 1.0325 to the power of 20 equals 1.895. 1 over x, 0.5275. 1 minus that, minus 1 equals 0.47. Divided by 0 0.0325, divided by 0 0.0325, I get 14.54. Okay, so 14.54 C times 14.54 plus 1,000 divided by 1.035, 1.0325 to the 20th, 1.0325 to the power of 20 equals 1 over X times 1,000 equals 527.47 equals 927.3. So 927.3 equals C times 14.54. Now we're just in like algebra mode. Uh, we'll subtract 527.47 from 927.3. 927.3 minus 527.47. Four seven, I get three ninety nine point eight three equals fourteen point five four times C. Divide both sides by fourteen point five four. So this number divided by fourteen point five four equals our payment. Uh, C equals twenty seven point. I'm gonna call this. It's, it's twenty seven point four nine eight six. We're gonna call this twenty seven point five. And remember, that's every uh, uh, six months. So double it to get annualized, and we end up with a payment of fifty five. And this number is looking very familiar to me. Uh, fifty five divided by a thousand gives us a coupon rate of. Uh, 5.5 percent so that's the number that would go in our table and that is the number we got earlier in the question so there we've done it we've done it by uh calculator but we can also do it by hand and the payment's hard to do by hand pv uh the price is easier to do by hand and then the yield is very very difficult to do by hand but we won't worry about that okay we have solved this uh in our calculator and now we've solved it by hand hope this video helped and if you made it to the end for goodness sakes i hope you'll hit me with one of those sweet sweet likes all right have a great day bye bye